بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم dear students now ان شاء الله we are going to present unit 8 steps 4 and 5 now be ready to open your students box on page 6 to 4 and 6 to 5 from the very beginning we would like to start with presenting the new vocabulary as you can see in front of you we have these new words words to remember I'd like you to have a look at these new words in order to try to present them word by word. Have a look at this new vocabulary in your student's book. Have a look. Let's start by introducing the first one, which is astounded, as you can see, astonished or shocked or greatly surprised. The second one here we have pump into to meet someone by chance, as you can see here, pump or pump into to meet someone but by chance here we have densely as you can see in front of you here dear students we have populated country populated city densely populated country in the world here we can say closely compacted the same idea densely closely compacted the next one here we have disturbance as you can see have a look at the packages and here we have disturbance the interruption of a peaceful condition disturbance here we have the second one, embarrassed, as you can see, showing or feeling shame, embarrassed, embarrassed, showing shame, feeling shame. Here we have far and wide over a large area. Have a look at this idiom, please. Have a look at this expression because we will need it again later, inshallah. Far and wide over a large area. The next one we have glamour. The glamour attraction you can say an attractive quality. The glamour here, have a look at this attraction, this attractive place. It is an attractive quality. The next one we have hub, center of interest or center of activity. Hub, center of activity. And here we have hustle and bustle. Hustle and bustle, lively activity. And we, we find, we may find, or we usually find hustle and bustle, bustle especially in big cities. Lively activity. And here we have metropolis, have a look at it, populated city, densely populated city, the biggest city in a country, metropolis. And here we have to narrate, give a spoken or written account of something. Narrate, to give a spoken or written account of something. And here we have odds and ends, pieces, have a look at it, odds and ends, odds and ends. We can say bits and pieces, bits and pieces. Pluck up the carriage, have a look at it. Pluck up the carriage. Make an effort to do something. When you have an exam, I'd like to, I can tell you that you have to pluck up your carriage in order to uh, answer uh, your questions carefully. Pluck up the carriage, make an effort to do something. And here we have tranquil, which means very quiet or calm, free from disturbance. Tranquil, calm, the same idea. And here we would like to revise this new vocabulary again, dear students. Have a look, stound it, bump into, densely, disturbance, embarrassed, far and wide, glamour. Here we have hub, hustle and bustle, tropolis, narrate, odds and ends, pluck up the carriage in addition to tranquil. Take care of the part of speech, dear students. Now let's go to our students' book on page 64 in order to try to start with inverted sentences. This lesson or grammar lesson is very, very easy. Inverted sentences, have a look at it. Unusual word order. I'd like you to have a look at this part, this sentence, I have never. Here we would like to start with this adverb never at the beginning. Then you have tried the helping verb and after that you have tried the subject. So we can say never have I. I have never, never have I. Like this. Never have I. This inverted. Now here, cover the text above and rearrange the sentences below so that they are inverted. I rarely have. I have never. As, as soon as I had blocked and so on. Take care. Have a look at it, dear students. Think about it carefully. Have a look at it. I rarely have. Here we have rarely, you have to start with rarely. 
If you look at have, you will find it a main verb. In the present simple, you have to use do. So rarely do. After that, you have to write I and the infinitive. Rarely do I have. Number two. I have never been. Never in the beginning. Then have I. Have I. Never have I. Like this. Never have I. Three. As soon as I had locked up the carriage. Have a look at it. No sooner had I. This I had, had I. But this as soon as we start with no sooner. And here you have tried there because we have no sooner there. Hardly when, scarcely when. I had scarcely when. Start with scarcely, then had I. Like this. Scarcely had I. I little expected this verb is in the past simple so we can use did as a helping verb so little did i expect in the infinitive little did i expect he told me that he valued and really enjoyed not only this one did he value did he value because he valued did he value this past so we can use did as a helping verb Here, number three, I would like you to think about these sentences. Create inverted sentences from these sentences. Have a look at them. Six sentences. Think about them, please. Think about them first. I have seldom been so upset about something. We have to start with seldom. Have I? I have never been. Never have I. And so on. I have seldom been, seldom have I. This is seldom have I. Never have I, the same idea. Only now, and we have understood this past symbol. We can use did as a helping verb. Only now did she understand. Like this. I couldn't sleep because the situation was so strange. We would like to start with so strange. This is the helping verb was the situation and write that. So strange was the situation that and you have to complete. Rarely had he, it's very easy. They had never, never had they, it's very easy. The next one here or the next exercise in your students book on page 65, I'd like you to have a look at it. Very easy and important at the same time. Have a look at this extra match. The words on the left with their definitions. Metropolis, glamour, tranquil, hub, shield, smug, suburb, pastoral. Have a look at them. Metropolis, have a look at it. Think about the exercise first of all. Metropolis is number eight. This one, densely populated city. Glamour, have a look attractive four tranquil means very calm this one one hub number three center of activity shielded protected is number five smug is number two dirty air suburb have a look at it means area outside the city Pastoral, this is the last one. It means associated with country life. It's very important. Have a look at this exercise. Complete these sentences with idioms from the box. Pick and they choose. By and large, nearest and dearest, odds and ends, far and wide, hustle and bustle, peace and quiet. People come from, have a look, to see the green land in Kuwait, and so on. Let's start with the first one. But I'd like you to think about this exercise before starting it. Think about it. Let's start. People come from far and wide. This one. Number two. I love spending time with my dearest and nearest. Nearest and dearest. Nearest and dearest. While I was on holiday, I bought lots of odds and ends. 
there are lots of restaurants near here you can from about 50 pick and choose some people enjoy the shopping in street markets hustle and bustle the next one he moved out of the city to get some peace and quiet city life as you can see by and large is more stressful now let's have a look at this part also because it's a very important part of speech complete these sentences with words from form it from the word in capitals nature threat very peace remind excite have a look at the sentence switzerland is a country of great great what we have nature here have a look beauty beauty is a noun and here we would like to to use an adjective so the adjective from nature is natural have a look like this natural b careless drivers can seriously threaten the verb no threat threaten i'd like to live in a small have a look peace and village peace is a noun we want an adjective peaceful E, the storm damage is a lasting here, remind. No, we need a noun, reminder. This one here, and we have, I'll never forget the, forget the, want a noun here. Excite, this verb, want a noun, excitement. Here, as you can see, the students, I would like you to think about this exercise in your opinion. How could city life be made less stressful for people who live there? I think we discussed this lesson in the previous lesson by establishing clubs to meet and socialize, by building factories away from cities to redu reduce pollution. This, this is a very, very important seed book questions. I'd like you, dear students, to think about it carefully. So now, try to revise the new vocabulary. They know the new ideas about grammar, inverted sentences. Revise them again and again. And next time, inshallah, we will have another new lesson. Thank you very much.